Hi, and welcome to video number three of our comprehensive chapter six and seven problems. So now we are going to be working on steps seven, eight, and nine. We're going to journalize our closing entries, post those to the ledger, and prepare the post-closing trial balance. So we've just finished making our adjusting journal entries, preparing our adjusted trial balance, and preparing our financial statements. Now it's time to get our company ready for the next accounting period. So we need to close the temporary accounts. All right, so step seven, journalize the closing entry. So the best place to look is on our trial balance, our adjusted trial balance. I'm going to take off all my colors so that it's easy for us to read. And we want to close the temporary account accounts. So the steps are close revenue to income summary, close expenses to income summary, Close income summary to capital and close withdrawals, which we don't have any this time, to capital. So the accounts that we will be closing are sales. We're going to close that account. That's our revenue. And we're going to close all of our expenses. Keep in mind, we will not close capital. We will instead close these accounts into capital. And these accounts are actually net income because revenues minus expenses equal net income. All right, let's get started. So on January the 31st, we're going to close revenues to income summary. So I can see that my sales account has a regular credit balance, so I need to debit it for $36,000. Okay, and what I would do is I would pause this and try to work it on your own and then just check your work with me afterwards. All right, and then we close that to income summary. So we're going to credit that for $36,000. All right, so that takes care of close revenue to income summary. The next one is close expenses to income summary. And so since I will need to be crediting all of my expenses, I know that I will need to debit my income summary. All right, so I need to list out all my expenses and credit those. All right, so I need to credit each of my expenses. So 13,000, 1,000, 2,500, 4,000, and 1,000. All right, I need to debit income summary for the total of that. So if I add all those together, they equal 21,500. All right, so that is step two. I closed my expenses to income summary. The next step says to close income summary to capital. So at this point, I need to see what is inside of income summary. Oops, I didn't mean to make that in all caps. I'm not shouting. There we go. All right, so I have a credit of 36,000 and I have a debit of 21,500 because this is the income summary and this is the income summary. So those are the two things that I've done to income summary. So a debit and a credit are subtracted, and so their balance is 14500 and that should match what's on net income. So just to make sure, we can go and look at our financial statements and make sure that that does equal net income, and it does, so that's good. All right, so we're going to close out income summary and move net income to capital. All right, and then if we had drawing, we would put it here, but we don't, so we can just skip that fourth step. All right, now, anytime you journalize, you must post to the ledger. So here we go. We're going to post that to the ledger. So let's just put our journal right here. That's our closing entries that we just made. We want to take out our highlights so it'll be easier to read. All right, and then we want to post it to the ledger. So here we go. All right, this is page three. I debited sales for $36,000. So on January the 31st from journal entry page three, I debited sales for $36,000. I had a credit of $36,000, then I debited it for $36,000, so that nets to zero, so my balance is now zero. This journal entry went to page, I mean to account number 400. For income summary, I'll post that from page three. I credited it for 36,000. So right now it has a credit balance of 36,000. 
that went to account number 305. All right, again, for income summary this time, from page three, I debited it for 21,500. So right now it's holding a balance of a credit of 36 minus a debit of 21,500. So it's holding 14,500. That went to account number 305. Cost of goods sold came from page three and I credited it. For $13,000, it had a debit balance. I just credited it, so now it's got $0. That went to account number 500. For utility expense, I credited it for $1,000, so now it has a balance of zero. That went to account number 501. For salary expense, I credit it for $2,500, so now it has a balance of zero. That went to account number 502. For rent expense, I credit it for $4,000. It had a debit balance of $4,000, so the new balance is zero. That went to account number 503. For depreciation expense, I credited it for $1,000. It had a balance of $1,000. I credited it for $1,000. Now it has zero. Went to account number 504. All right, income summary. I debited it for $14,500. It had a credit balance of $14,500, so now it has a zero balance. And that went to account number 305. And finally, capital. January 31st, from page three, I credited it for 14,500, a credit of 40 and a credit of 14,5. I add, and my new balance is 54,500. And I have, and that went to account number 300. So I have completed my posting. Note now that all of my temporary accounts have zero balances and capital has the new updated capital balance. All right, anytime you update a ledger, you must do a trial balance. So we are going to do our final trial balance and then we'll be finished. So I'm gonna put my ledger over here. I'm gonna put my trial balance over here and we're at the post-closing trial balance because we've just made our closing entries. Post just means after, so after our closing entries. So we look at our same ledger but now we're going to do it at this point in time. So cash is 20,500. Merchandise inventory is 29,500. Equipment is $6,000. These are debits and credits. Accumulated depreciation has a credit balance of $1,000. Salary payable has a credit balance of $500. Toby Capital has 54,500 in it. And I keep going, but whoa, this has a zero balance, a zero balance, a zero balance. A zero balance, a zero balance, zero balance, and a zero balance. So I don't have to write any of those down. But I need, do need to double check that they are zero because that's what we are checking on. All right, to make sure that my trial balance is in balance, I'm going to add my debits. And then I'm going to add my credits. $56,000 on that side. 56,000 on that side, so I'm in balance. So I have completed my chapter six and seven comprehensive problem and taken it through the entire accounting cycle. So let me know if you have any questions, thanks.